Hello, my name is David Sanchez. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple website using VS Code and Azure Static Web Apps. In just a few minutes, you can have a website up and running. This service provides global hosting, integration with APIs like functions, a first-class integration with GitHub to manage the build and deployment, and managing staging environments. When you create a Azure Static Web App, it will create automatically a GitHub action to manage the CI CD process. You can use multiple languages and frameworks for building your application, like for example, Blazor, Angular, React, or Vue.js. The first thing we need to do is create the GitHub repo. So let's go to GitHub and create a new repo. I'm going to name it Sample Website. I'm not going to use any description. You can use a private or public repo. In this case, I'm going to use the public. Uh, I will add the readme file and I will go ahead and create the repo. Once that the repo is created, I can go to VS Code and clone the repo. I will need to specify where I want to clone it in my computer. So I'm going to use repos. And that's it. The only file in the repo is the readme file that I created that it just has the title of the repo. I'm going to create a new file called index.html. And I'm going to add some basic HTML code here. Just the title of the website, a header, and then a paragraph basically regarding the demo. I'm going to save this. And one of the benefits of VS Code is that it can track that this is a Git repo and it will identify all the changes that I have. So I'm going to commit this with an initial commit message. And I'm going to push the change uh, to the remote branch. All right. Next, I can use VS Code to create the Azure resource that I need. For this, I can use the extension that we have. If I look for a static, I will see here that I have the uh, extension and uh, this will automatically enable a tab in VS Code where I can navigate through all the different resources. As you can see here, I am already authenticated to the Azure subscription and I can navigate through the different resources that I have. For study web apps, I only have one that is my personal website. So let's go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to call it sample website. And here I can specify in which region I want this. I'm going to use West US. And from here I can specify the language or even if I want to use a site generator like Ugo, I can use that as well. Let's select Ugo and go ahead. In this case, the root folder going to stay the same and the build output folder will be public. That's fine. From here, I can see that basically this is creating uh, the new resource and it will automatically create the production environment and also the GitHub action that I need. So if I go back to GitHub, I can see here that there is a new action running. If I go to settings, secrets, I will see that this secret have the token that I need to deploy the website. If I go to Azure, I will see a new resource group with a static web app created. This will be the URL of my website. As you can see, the website is now live and is waiting for my content. While the GitHub action run, let me talk about the configuration that you have here. So uh, if you want to protect uh, the static web app, you can add the password protection. Uh, if you have calls to a backend, you can add application insights. You can add custom domains here. Uh, you can uh, link other uh, APIs that you have. You can manage the different environments. In this case, I only have production. Or you can switch to a 
other uh, hosting plan. By default, you have the free plan. And uh, uh, from this screen, you can also see uh, what are the difference between the free and the standard plan. So now let's see if the action already run. And it, yeah, it seems that it's successfully. So if I refresh this website, I should be able to see the changes. And that's it. Basically, you can go back to VS Code and add the site generator that you want or the different uh, JavaScript or CSS resources. And every time that you uh, update the repo, it will automatically deploy the website uh, to Azure. Thank you very much for watching.